this is a picture of a spot in about 205, 210 feet of water. You can see the numbers there. It actually looks like there's two separate bottoms. The guys I fish with think this is a, a sinkhole, basically that kind of formed out in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and it's a, a spot where they've caught plenty of big gag grouper, black grouper, tuna, yellowtail snapper. If you will watch one of my previous videos, that's the spot where we were catching those gigantic yellowtails chummed up all the way to the surface. Um, something really magical. And so I decided to send my GoPro down one day to, to really see, you know, what's down there. Um, so the spot looks like it's in about, you know, 205 feet of water. A um, bunch of fish showing, you know, all around it. And then you can see there's that basically uh, two shows of the bottom. Um, and so I think I kind of figured out what it was when I sent the, the GoPro down. Uh, so here's the GoPro starting to go down. There's Ramora sitting under the boat. Um, there was one problem. The GoPro, my old one, it... it didn't like to go all the way to the bottom and like to shut off. I think pressure has a lot to do with it, especially 210 feet of water. They're only rated for about 180, 190 feet. So it's a little beyond that. Um, so you start going down and you'll, you'll see what the show of the fish is halfway up. There's some amber jacks, some uh, bar jacks, rudder fish, all those different jacks kind of mixed in. Um, they love to come up, eat your chum, live bait. Kind of a kind of a pain at times if you're not using heavy enough weights to get through them. Uh, they love bigger structure, and, and this is definitely something a little bigger uh, naturally out there. Um, so we get through the, the majority of the bar jacks, AJs, and as it gets closer to the bottom, start to see this outline. It's a big, dark outline. So as you can see here, keep going, a little bit more there. Dark outline. This is the structure as it starts to show up. There's only about eight more seconds left. More of the structure spinning, and then it looks like what it is is there's two different sides of this. Um, so you can see more there. This is one line it running that direction, and then as it comes around, I think there's two sides of this. So basically, ledge, ledge, and then the middle is just an open gap. And so that kind of explains ledge, ledge, in the middle of the open gap as you're going over it. Uh, so here it looks like it's a big rock pile, probably a ledge that goes up underneath. They think it's a sinkhole, which is very possible. Um, Gulf of Mexico is loaded with sinkholes. A lot of the ledges you'll see are um, created just by basically the same thing you see on land. Uh, just the gulf kind of sinking below and then leaving some of this limestone rock exposed. Um, so the end, that's pretty much it. It hits the bottom, camera shuts off. Uh, so this is fairly tall, and if you're looking at the picture, it's probably about 15 feet. Um, big ledge, nobody's dove it, so this is literally the first anybody's ever seen of this spot. Um, this is recorded about 10 a.m., so there's not a ton of light. That's why it's real grainy, hard to see that combined with the depth. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little, little dark down there. Uh, so bring it back, bring it back a little more. And so once again, one side, then the other side. So I think it's just two walls, and it's hard to see how far, how long it runs. They think it runs pretty far. I wouldn't doubt it, just looking at this. So there's that same side, and as it comes around, side number two, it's probably about 20 or 30 feet wide. Very cool piece of bottom. They've definitely caught a lot of big fish there. And it's one of those spots that these, these offshore guys, they, they treasure. And being able to find one themselves that they've kept to themselves this whole time is, is pretty amazing. They, they definitely troll, looking around, you know, always trying to find new things. And this is a, a, a special piece of bottom that they have all themselves. Uh, if you like this, you know, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of exposing a lot of the... The, the bottom videos I found over the years, um, I'm really perfecting the GoPro and, and learning, you know, what you're looking at on here and then sending the GoPro down in a quick manner. Um, something I look forward to, to sharing with everybody. So if you leave like this, leave me a message, let me know. Thanks.